Hey guys, this is RBR short from 13, aka Ryan, and uh, today I am doing a video. Um, by the way, yeah, just showing off my uh, new character um, look. Uh, his character name is Danny in Rise of Elm Street. Just wanted to uh, um, trying to get used to this look until I complete filming the movie. Um, just staying in character and everything, but it's. Uh, Oh my god, it was so much fun. I know this video isn't about me talking about uh, Rise of Elm Street and um, my recent fan film I've been filming. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was amazing. And I'm going to do a live stream, I think, um, soon uh, just to talk about it. But anyway, what this video is about is a reaction video to Maxine. Um, I... Uh, loved X. I really, really liked Pearl. I thought they were, um, I think they were just really great movies. Um, Ty West is, is a, is a really great director and, um, he's just amazing. Um, so this is his third film. It originally was supposed to be the last one, but I've been hearing from, this could be rumors, but from what I've been, what, what I've been hearing for a while is that they're going to make a fourth film which is exciting. But if not, if this is the third and vi final film, that's, that's great. Cause it looks like it, you know, if this is Maxine's a great movie. Then that's a solid trilogy, you know, or that's a great trilogy. So, all right, here we go. My reaction video to Maxine three. Oh, hold on. My Google Chrome is all, all slow and everything. All right, three, two, one, play. So, Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? Your dream was to be a star. I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and, through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. 1985. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. She's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every bad girl in Hollywood. Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. I, I the My employer is a very powerful man. Kevin Fast. Bacon. Ain't finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? I love 80s music. If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Maxine. 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 You're a fucking movie star. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's all 80s setting. Oh, man. Oh, that looks great. That looks brilliant. That looks brilliant. Yeah, that, that'll... Uh, that it has full potential to be the best movie of the year. Subscribing. I can't believe I, did, I, I have not been subscribed to A24 all this time. But anyway, I'm subscribed to them now. Uh, I'm going to favorite, favorite it. That was, that was uh, absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, uh, Mia, Mia Goth, she's just 
she's just incredible. And um, just to, like how how the the ending of Pearl, the way that movie ended, that last shot, and how long how long it stayed in frame of, you know, that was just yeah. It make, it makes me really excited to see you know what 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 they're gonna do with this. I mean, this is like getting on like Oscar worthy level, you know, like like the f first movie. X was was very slasher 70s I mean it felt like the way horror movies used to be made uh but Pearl kind of took a different direction um in a good in a, in a good way the right way and Maxine uh is now it, it's just it's it's becoming more than just a slasher story it you know you forget that you, 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 it's it feels more like a, a drama feels like, like a drama of of this character and and more so psychological uh kind of storyline um but yeah it's cool that you know you you go from x which is all horror and slasher and then you go to maxine which is you know more on levels of drama and all you know different kinds of style of filmmaking and just looks amazing from Ty West. It just, uh, just, just incredible. I'm really excited to see this. Um, yeah, because I was blown away by the last two, and um, we need more movies like this. You know, because I mean, we had Silence of the Lambs. You know, that to me, that's an example. Or Pearl, Maxine, you, examples of movies that are horror, but you forget that they're horror films. You, you you forget that they're that that's 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 the premise of the plot, and you're so drawn to the characters, and that's how important acting is as well, uh, and great writing. Um, so I feel like a lot of you know slasher movies, they you know a lot of them, they get categorized as just oh you know slash a slash, but not all slasher films have to be that way. And I feel like in today's audience, I I I, I think they. I think people want to see slasher films with a massive amount of like storytelling and character development and character drama and all different kinds of elements. Uh, and I think that's just beautiful that we're seeing that in horror uh, now that that's kind of returning and that we're, we're pretty much seeing all different forms of the horror genre and the slasher genre. But I think that's just really, really, really great. Anyway, that's my reaction video to Maxine. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you all very soon. All right, peace.